What a beautiful day it is, and what a historic spot to gather for Perfect Games Game of the Week. Presented by Launch Hydrate out of Alpharetta, Georgia, it's the 14U talented squad from Smart Tents, the great developmental program, and from Rochester Hills, Michigan. Better said, Detroit City, USA. It's the Motor City Hit Dogs. Both of these programs, really highly developmental programs. Excited to have them meet up. It's the 2024 Perfect Game Southeast Super Regional NIT number two here at beautiful East Cobb Complex. Winners, by the way, of the top bracket in the major open division of this 14U age group earn an invite to the PG 14U World Series at the Boomba Sports Complex in Samford, Florida. And we are ready to play with Smart Tents acting as the visiting team. Peralta will be at the top. Nice to right behind him, Tisper. And it's Morris Dean and Kroll. Get to know Arvis Kroll. We'll tell you a lot about him. Jaden Bibby, Josiah Davis, and Todd Raleigh Jr., head coach Jarrett Northcutt of this staff, and Cam West, one of the leaders, too. You'll hear from Cam West on the coaching staff as well. And Todd Raleigh, longtime college coach on the staff for Smart Tents as well. Colton Waters gets a chance to go to work for the Motor City Hit Dogs. Flip, they call him, his nickname. You can see what he has done in 2024. Nine and a third travel innings. Earlier this year at the event in Houston, Texas, the Houston 1000, he held the SBA Bolts to no runs across the board. Five and a third innings, six strikeouts. Colton Waters gets the opportunity. Fastball will touch about 80 miles an hour with a curveball. And you're seeing it there that is 12 to 6. Love seeing that number 20. Have an affinity for that, certainly in our house, as the left-hander is ready to go. Boy, this is a fun one today. Temperature is expected to creep into the, the low 80s here at East Cobb. And when you think about the East Cobb complex, Mike Trout played here in 2008. Mookie Betts in 2011. And a decade later... Josh Holiday coming through, his nephew. We've enjoyed watching him all the way to the big leagues, the newest member of the Holidays in 2021. Matt Holiday's son, it's been incredible to see him go. And away we go, and leading it off is Sebastian Peralta. There's a breaking ball, that one is high. Peralta for the Smart Tense team, the shortstop. Nice trim right behind him, and tis for as well. That one dips over the outside corner. Darren Sutton, glad to have you with us. Production team out in Southern California and also on campus at East Cobb. Beautiful bender hits the inside corner again. Seabass, they call him. He is from Milton, Georgia. Breaking ball hits the inside corner. And Seabass, or Sebastian, goes down with strike three. Boy, it is that 12 to 6, and he will throw it in any count. What a pretty breaking ball that is. Joseph Nystrom, number six on the jersey. Nystrom, the second baseman. Joseph from Alpharetta, Georgia. Dream school. He'd love to be a Florida Gator someday with that wide open stance. Son of John and Catherine. Breaking ball, Owen won the count. His older sister, Elise, plays college soccer, already is kind of leading the way, showing Joseph how to make it to that level. She plays college soccer at Georgia State, so nice to have her nearby. Pulls that breaking ball to the right side, and that one trickles foul. Drew Reese out there is the first baseman, Gage Hendrickson on the right side, the second baseman right beside him. Center. Here we go. Josh Leonard to shortstop, Owen Hammond, the third baseman for the Hit Dogs. It's we met Schaus, who we'll tell you a lot about, and Max Neshoff in right field. No balls and two strikes to count. Breaking ball misses outside. By the way, calling balls and strikes behind home plate. Cleveland Reeves, Joshua Croft is out on the bases. Take a peek at our umpire and crew as they are working this one today. Reeves. Behind home plate, Croft out on the bases. Doing a great job, our perfect game umpires today. Left center, here we go. 
24th travel ball at bat for Nystrom here in this 2024 season. Tops that one right back to the pitcher's mound. Waters an underhanded flip over to Drew Reese in time for the out. It's crazy to think that Jackson Holiday played here not too long ago and is already playing in the big leagues. That's what makes this site so much fun. Leaked out just a little bit. You could see the body leak out on that breaking ball. Ended up getting that one down off the end of the bat. Connor Tisfer. That one skips to the backstop. Tisfer from Lilburn, Georgia. St. Pius X Catholic High School. He's a 2028th and 8th grader. Would love to play at Florida State someday. Son of Jenny and Robert, right handed hitter, and he takes up and away. Connor the DH, but catches. Loves JT Real Muto. Loves watching him catch and work. Three balls and one strike the count. Connor was the MVP in the Peach State Classic on his resume. You can see there's presence in the box. Stands very close to the plate, front of the box. He leans on that one, drives that one toward the alley in left center field. Ranging over, covering up into the gap, off the wall. What a beautiful approach and a pretty swing. And it's a couple of bags for Connor. We talked about being in the front of the box there to take the break away from that big curveball. Quick hands through the zone for Tiz for this time. Foot up, foot down. Boy, hardly a stride there. And then short and quick to the baseball. Nothing Carter Schaus, who's an outstanding defender, by the way, could do as it rolled all the way to the Loco sign in the left center field alley. As the breaking ball is high and inside to Winston Morris. Morris playing in his 10th perfect game event this year, 10th overall game. He's got seven hits, hitting 368 with a bat in his hand this season. As that fastball evens things up at one and one. Winnie, as they call him, makes his home in Cumming, Georgia, which is just north of Alpharetta, where the team gathers. Has a lot of SEC teams that he would love to play for someday. As that one misses outside. Amongst them, Vanderbilt, Georgia, LSU, and Kentucky. So the coaching staff at Smart Tense has pushed me to best, be the best player I can be. I love my travel ball experience. And I love that breaking ball, two and two the count. Big Freddie Freeman fan. Look at that, tall left-handed hitter. Imagine that, a fan of Freddie Freeman's. Former Brave, now a Dodger. As that one is fouled off. He said, and I quote, when I was younger, I played first base a ton. And watching how Freddie swung the bat and played defense, I wanted to model my game exactly after Freddie Freeman's. It's like a young Freddie in the box as the breaking ball is high and inside. Morris, a really good defender, an outfielder now. Defensive MVP, back-to-back -back years for his team as he rolls that one to the right side. Slips right on by Reese, and it's going to be costly. Trickles toward the shallow part of right field, all the way into second. Goes Morris. Tisper comes around to score, and one to nothing. Smart Tense leads it. Morris got out front of that one, had some tough top spin on it just too much to be played by Reese over there and once that skipped by him he had to go get it himself had some help coming in from Neshoff as well check swing foul ball at the plate this is Cooper Dean Cooper playing in his 11th perfect game game so far in the calendar year He's 5 of 19, got 5 RBIs. Cooper 263, 364 on base though. That'll move the runner up to third base. So runner on third. All this being done with two outs, Morris moves up easily on the wild pitch. Seth Hittleman, the man working behind the plate, is catcher.
Waters has flashed a really good breaking ball. That one skips. That's too much, that breaking ball. Heading toward the plate, and another run. Two to nothing is the score. Smart tense. A little bit of help, quite frankly. Wild pitch scores to run, and miscue allowed Morris to reach. But against a deep and talented team out of Detroit, Michigan, these early runs are so crucial. Three and one the count. Looking at fastballs thus far from Waters. 78 miles an hour, the high water mark. He's touched 80 during his perfect game time. So I'm gonna miss. Right by that one, down he goes. But set out two and a half years ago to create the best possible BB Corp bat on the market. I set out to create that for my son. He started swinging it and you know, other people up and down the line, they're like, what is that? Can I hit it? And then there were two kids swinging it. Oh, then there was five, then almost everyone was swinging it. The BB Corp is a .50 standard. Our bat actually came back and tested at .499. We're not coming to be a player in this space. That is the top to bottom. Grady Zadowski, Zadowski, who, by the way, was the MVP of the perfect game Peach State Showdown. Zadowski takes the rock and he rolls. Zadowski with mid 70s fastball, low three quarters. You'll see a lot of movement, real big curveball, changeup that will fade, and a good athlete on the mound. There's that movement diving down and away. That one lifted toward left field. It's an easy chance, and the talented Max Neshoff. Flies out to left field. Excited to see Max play, ranked 103rd in his class. We'll talk about him more as this game goes on. Colton Waters, who is on the mound. Colton from Rochester Hills, Michigan, where he goes to West Middle School. Eighth grader at 2028 grad. His dream schools, Ole Miss, Clemson, Auburn, son of Tammy and Jeremy. That one gets the outside corner. You can see the arm side run on that fastball clearly, can't you? Water's brother Bino is committed to Notre Dame to play baseball. Select Fest team member at the 12U age group. On the line, played on a hop, long throw, good speed. It's an infield base hit for Colton Waters. Good effort by Peralta. Carter Schaus ready to swing the bat. What a talented athlete, ranked seventh in the land. 
and we are so excited to see him go to work in the class of 2028. Makes the move up from Ohio to play for that talented team. Energy, heart, and soul. This is Carter Schaus, number seven player with a runner on in the class of 2028. Right-handed bat, breaking ball is high. Middletown, Ohio. St. John the 23rd is where he attends school as an eighth grader. Sauce, they call him, his nickname. LSU, Vanderbilt, Tennessee, Arkansas, a couple of places he'd love to play someday. The only child of Kelly and John Schaus. Still plays football, still plays basketball as the breaking ball hits the outside corner. Number one player in the state of Ohio. MVP, he's got a PG, Southeast Elite Championship MVP back in October in the fall. The Houston Super Regional in March, MV pitcher, that massive event. So Carter has opened a lot of eyes as an eighth grader. He fouls that one back, short, quick attack to the baseball. Strained his meniscus back in sixth grade, calls that one of his great baseball challenges. And his MCL in his right knee, very close to tearing both of them. Runner on the move, and he swiped it. A little late in covering the bag there. Joseph Nystrom, you could see Ty Raleigh hop up getting ready to throw the, the baseball. The little dumper, Todd Raleigh, behind the plate. You know Cal Raleigh, right? The catches for the Seattle Mariners. Actually, on my fantasy team, that is his little brother. Big brother catcher, little brother a catcher. As that one has popped up sky to the right side. Very shallow right field. Good communication as Morris calls off Nystrom, the second baseman. F9 in the books. And they get a tough hitter in Carter Schaus. If you're the pitcher, nothing makes you happier than to see the dangerous hitter go back to the dugout with his bat still in his hands. That's what happened there with Carter. Here's Owen Hammond. Dad, Mark Hammond, the head coach of this team. And there is some presence and size when you look at Hammond for 2028, 20, 6 5 in the box, athletic. Shepherd, Michigan, north a couple of hours. They commute to play for this team. Wraps that bat behind his helmet. As that one misses outside. Mark, as we mentioned, his dad, his mom is Allison. Select Fest alum, he's won MV pitcher multiple times. Snap throw, pickoff move, tried to sneak in there, and they thought it was real close. Peralta thought he might have had him. Hands go over his heads there. 2-0 the count. 4.0 student standing in the batter's box. And Zidowski misses outside. You could hear lock in Grady, let's go from the dugout. Grady's from Suwannee, Georgia. Also middle infielder by trade. It's the outside corner, three and one the count. Number one in the jersey, 14 plus four months. Standing 5'8", Grady Zidowski. Sometimes when you get that much movement naturally on your pitches, it can be tough to command, it's such a gift. But at the same time, it's a gift you have to figure out how to make it work, whether it's your starting point, whether it's are you striding directly to the plate, giving your arm a chance to get up top of your body. It is a gift, though, that kind of movement. Under the shortstop hit. But McComb, Michigan, you see his numbers thus far in 2024. He fouls that one back. Get ahead, Greg. 15 years old, left-handed hitter, right-handed thrower, Josh. Hey. 
Dad Tony on the. News related to Nick Plummer, Hit Dogs alum who made his way to the big leagues with the New York Mets, also played in the Cardinals organization. Breaking ball we've seen from Grady. Three and one the count. Outside corner, three and two. Cleveland Reeves, as that bat was tossed away, held up that arm and let him know we're gonna we're gonna play on just a little bit more. Couple of runners on, three and two the count. Twenty twenty four PG Southeast Super Regional NIT here at East Cobb. Outside, ball four. And the bases are loaded for Seth Hittleman. Quick visit, quick conversation. Had a chance to connect with Cam West as he comes out to have this chat. Jarrett Northcutt, as we told you, Cam West. And Todd Raleigh on the staff for Smart Tents. Cam Dunn. Seth Hits. Seth from Birmingham, Michigan. Just outside of Detroit, a beautiful spot. What a fun spot to visit. Is it Orchard Lake St. Mary's? And there are some St. Mary's alums, certainly, that have gone on to Big things. Brock Porter, one of them, coming out of the Motor City Hit Dogs program. Ike Irish, the All-American catcher for Auburn University, a Motor City Hit Dog. Both of them playing at St. Mary's as well. Good school. Pretty campus, gorgeous campus, Orchard Lake St. Mary's. Seth, the son of Jason and Lee. Younger sister is Sloan. Younger brother is Meyer. Just eight years old. Outside, two and one the count. It's all the way out west. He loves Mookie Betts. Big swing. That was a Mookie time to swing. He'd have been proud of that one. Biggest inspiration, bets, certainly what he's able to accomplish. Also tied in with his size. Three and two, the count. Will that play to run? It will. Clapping his hands. The pitcher, Colton Waters, come on down on a wild pitch. Runners move to second and third. Spike this breaking ball down on a knee. It was a little bit difficult for Todd Raleigh to go over and get it. Ended up trying to play it in a tough manner as that one's outside. That is ball four. Bases loaded again for Zanowski. He's got to go to work now against Josh Wiemet. Josh, the left fielder, left-handed batter. Great year-round facilities for this Motor City Hit Dogs program. Great youth program that five to eight years old. They have the little dogs. Great training, great teaching up in the Detroit area, suburban Detroit area. Rumet takes high and away. Josh playing in his 19th perfect game game in 2024, an Illinois native. He's got 10 hits, he's got six walks, a 391 on base percentage. Mokunda, Illinois. Inside, 3 0. Base is loaded. Nowhere to put him, the 3 0 pitch. That's high, that's ball four. And we've pulled right back to even here in the game of the week. Gage Henriksen now. 
big chance with a couple of outs. Gage is from Livonia in Michigan. They'll chat. Schmidt, Peralta, Nystrom, Bibby will all come around. Words of encouragement for Zadowski. Again, Grady not too far removed from really doing great things. Was the MV pitcher just a couple of weeks back on March 22nd at an event at East Cobb, the 14U PG Peach State Showdown. Bouncing ball, middle of the diamond. That one trickles past the second base bag. Another runner coming on down. Head first slide, throw to third with the tag. Not in time. All the way to second base goes Henriksen. Two more runs come around to score. You thought Peralta at least might have a chance to get there. Don't know if there was a play to be made. Let's watch here. Boy, nice little leg kick. Got the foot down. Hit it hard right over the mound. Watch Peralta behind the bag. Once he recovers, and right there with the be at Nystrom trying to help him out, so there was no play to get a force. And with two outs, the runners are gone anyway. Four to two is the score. Runners on second and third. Wid Wheeler's the designated hitter. Quinn now makes his home, was originally in Arizona, has made the move to Johnston, Iowa. Where he dreams of going to Vanderbilt or Stanford someday. The 2-1. Uses the other side of the field, flips that one toward left. And the play is made out there by Josiah Davis. But not before Smart Tense takes that two to nothing lead into this inning only to see the Hit Dogs punch right back. We've played one on Perfect Games Game of the Week from East Cobb. It's the Motor City Hit Dogs four. It's Smart Tense out of Alpharetta, Georgia, two. West is the president of baseball operations for Smart Tents, a program born in July of 2017. I chatted with Cam. He speaks to his program and what they hope to accomplish on the day-to-day. -day. I would say, uh, you know, when you go through the baseball industry, a lot of people believe in doing things, you know, one way or the other. And I think the biggest thing that we do is we're always never scared to test the envelope, right? We're never pushed, scared to push the envelope. We're never scared to try new things, uh, especially when it comes to training guys. We believe there's always a better way to do things, right? So if you were to come out to any one of our training sessions, any one of our practices, it's probably gonna be ran different than anything anywhere else you see across the country, you know? And uh, for us, it's, it's all about how much we can put back to the kids. The better I am, the more I know, the better the guys will be. Ian Jared Northcutt leading this program at Smart Tents. Look, 
In their first 16 months, they opened in July of 17. They had 15 players earn scholarships. And then in 18, 2018, a, a Nats draft pick. Hey, so it has been uh, fast and furious. A lot of development for this team. Yep. Goes right back to that breaking ball and a good one. Arvis Kroll gets the call out of McDonough, Georgia. This is a highly thought of athlete. We'll hear from Cam in a bit. He'll give us his insights down the road on Arvis. His dream school is to play for Tennessee. Neil and Marita, his parents. His younger sis is Faith, just 12 years old as Arvis takes up and away. Loves watching J-Rod play for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. Said he always has a smile on his face. He's always hustling, never gives up, no matter if he's able to catch it or not. It's funny, the little things that younger athletes learn watching major leaguers. By the way, Arvis says in 2024, he's gotten faster and he's been able to steal more bases as he works from the back of the box. That breaking ball, no fun. Threw it to the back foot, turned into an out that time. Strikeout, Seth Hittleman completes it. Yeah, good tight spin to that one. Fastball's been up to 80, that last breaking ball, 66 miles an hour. First baseman, Jaden Bibby, an aggressive swing. 0-1 the count on Bibby. Jaden from Woodstock, Georgia, goes to Freedom Middle School at 2028. Princeton, Vandy, Duke, Howard, Columbia, all schools that he thinks about. Off speed, 0-2 the count. He talks about his coaches at Smart Tents, does Bibby. He said, look, I'm a perfectionist. He sometimes can hurt my mind not being satisfied ever. He said, the coaches have really helped me tune some of that out. Good take on a breaking ball. Take the good with the bad. If ever there is a sport where being a perfectionist, look, never want to stop working. The son of Jenna and Lee. The son of Jenna and Lee. He drives that one, gets good extension. Neshoff, over, under, out. In shallow right field as he puts that one away. So Waters, his team got hot. They put some runs on the board. He trots out, gives his team a shut down inning. And oh boy, that breaking ball has been something to behold. Bottom of the second, hit dogs on top, 4-2. Being in the wild is the best when you're with your family. We do all kinds of different things at camp. Go fish, surf, dive. I think I'll probably be coming out here the rest of my life. I'm Bobby Witt Jr., professional baseball player. I've been with G-Form since the early days with Perfect Game. I've grown and improved a lot, and so have they. From the first time I put it on, it just felt right. To go next level just means to accomplish what your, your goals are, and for me, it was just trying to take everything day by day until I reached that goal to make it to the big leagues, and which was the next level for me. G-Form, go next level. I never let myself believe that I was gonna be in the big leagues. I always worked for it until I achieved it. Back in Puerto Rico, I remember my dad hit me ground balls from the top of the hill. That forced me to always move my feet. There were no limits to where I could go, so I played with no limits.
kind of a reset button for Grady Zadowski. And so many positive steps, PG scouts and families, coaches have seen so much good work from Grady. Let's see how he handles. This is a tough team, though. As we said, switch hitter Max right back, ready to go. Topped out towards second base. Takes a high hop, cap bill high for Nystrom. Turns it into an out. One pitch, one out. There's your reset right out of the gates for Zidowski. A good arm side run, top that baseball. What a great student, by the way, Neshoff is. National Junior Honor Society, volunteers at the Miracle League. A sister who has autism plays in that Miracle League. And so, some wonderful perspective at home for Max Neshoff. Here's the spin doctor, Colton Waters. Waters, center field. Roll coming on in. We'll play it on a hop, but it's a base hit for Waters. Carter Schaus ready to swing it one more time. We've got some art for you from the Ohioan. Not one bag, not two, but three. There's a physical presence. He can fly. The number seven player in the class of 2028. He fly to right field last time up. Little cut to that pitch, hits the outside corner. Loves Bryce Harper. Energy, good teammate. He said, I've watched Bryce through the years, although Carter's not that old. He said, but I've watched him grow out of his younger self, have more self-control, and bring a lot of energy to the game while learning how to rein it in. Some pretty thoughtful words from Carter Schaus, who shares that his base running is the most improved part of his games, reading balls in the air, seeing if they're down, stealing bases, pushing on the base pads as well. Head first slide and a stolen base that time for Waters. in the classroom math and social studies. Really thriving there, has never been below a 3.7 GPA. Carter pitches two, has topped 90. Hits that one hard to the left side. Diving attempt. Unable to make the play out there, Dylan Schmidt. There's the strength of Carter. Base hit left field. Just a quick whip of the bat. A little tilt back, slight load, very strong. Runners on first and third. That stolen base turns out big. Here's Owen Hammond now. Owen walked and scored back in the first inning. Smart tents in the all-white uniforms just north of Atlanta out of Alpharetta, Georgia. With the dark tops, white pants, the hit dogs. Out of the state of Michigan, the Motor City hit dogs. Great bat-to-ball skills, really good eye at the plate. Got a pick off that came to work. And then in the end, just opting not to throw the baseball. I think coverage on the bag, too. Nystrom getting there late. He is athletic. He does have a good move. That leg lift bluff. And he caught Schaus taking off, but Schaus eventually swiped it. So runners on second and third, one away. Boy, look at the comeback movement on that one. That started right at the kneecaps of Owen, then hit the inside corner. Stick with it, Todd Raleigh. 
That's his catcher working with him behind the plate. Good take down and away. Would love a strikeout here, as we said. Got a quick out, got a ground out. Max Neshoff. Waters singled. Schaus singled. Both have stolen a base. Just got a piece of that pitch. Inner half of the plate. I asked Owen, hey, when I bump into you in 10 years, what will life look like? He said it'll be 6'4", 225, winning a silver slugger for the Milwaukee Brewers. Kind of looks like a Brewers slugger, doesn't he? He slugs that one to the right side, takes a tough hop and slips right on by into right field. One run will score. To the plate, the head first slide, a couple of more runs. Added on, getting it done. Hammond, the third baseman, with a pair of RBIs. Waters and Schaus both score. Just let the bat lead there. And you could see Bibby hoping to grab it on a backhand. Took a tough hop on him. Single and a pair of RBIs. Six twos the number as that one misses outside. Josh Leonard, the shortstop, walked and scored last inning. Two and zero, oh, the count to Josh. Dad Tony, founder and owner, brother Scott, Tony's brother, Uncle Scott, I guess, one of the co-owners of the Motor City Hit Dogs. Two outs in the inning as they get Leonard that time. Yeah, the Motor City Hit Dogs in 2023 had a real banner year. 41 college commits. They were ranked at the age groups of 8, 9, 10, 11, 13U, two of them, one of them playing in this game today, 14 and then 16 all ranked. That 14U team, which is now a 15U team, coached by Tony Leonard, fourth in the nation last year. 72 tournament wins all toll for the entire Hit Dogs program last year. One and one the count on Seth Hittleman. Drops a breaking ball over the outside corner, coming up empty. Started it away, stayed away. Nice, good tight spin to that one. Yeah, why not throw it again? Runners on the move, throw down, head first slide. He's in there. It's a stolen base for Owen Hammond. his second stolen base in this the year 2024 at PG events got the call over the outside corner that's strike three six runs for the hit dogs they didn't come all the way from Detroit City USA to sit around they came to swing the bat and the hit dogs taking advantage if the ball's over the plate hitters like Waters and Schaus and Hammond They'll bite. 
Excited to see Arvis hit in just a bit again. Todd Raleigh led things off at a firm ground ball to Owen Hammond, who promptly the third baseman turned it into an out. Arvis Kroll, Todd Raleigh, some of the more talented players on this team. Jared Flowers as well. Dylan Schmidt, it's his turn, the third baseman. Breaking ball hits the inside corner to Dylan. River Trail Middle School, local athlete here in the Atlanta area. Bubba, his mates call him. Son of John and Michelle Schmidt. Third baseman, shortstop. One and two, the count. Andrewton Simmons has provided some great guidance from afar. He said, I, I love the way he plays. Always on the field, such a leader defensively. That one rolls out to his counterpart in the infield. And Joshua Leonard fields and fires the shortstop and turns it into an out. That is six in a row now, sat down by Waters. Tried to pull a pitch down and away. That's exactly what you want to have happen if you're the left-handed pitcher, Waters. Back to the top of the order in Sebastian Peralta, who's in the hole 0-1. At Milton, Georgia's Northwestern Middle School. Son of Elizabeth and Jose. He loves Ellie De La Cruz. I think a lot of young athletes love the Red Star. There's different reasons, though. He says he's Dominican and a switch hitter, just like me. We both share that in common. Tied him up that time. Hendrickson, a low throw, but a nice job going down to get it by Drew Reese. That is seven in a row. Sat down by the left-hander. They call flip. Colton Waters doing a great job. They got him some runs for the Motor City Hit Dogs. He's throwing strikes. Let his defense do the work. 6-2. Hydrate, win the moment.
comfortable temperatures into the 70s. We're expecting a high maybe of 82. Don't know if it will ever get there in the greater Atlanta area. Colton Waters has been really good, especially of late. He's retired seven in a row since Winston Morris singled in a run back in the first inning. Inner half with a breaking ball into a triangle of athletes for the hit dogs, and he'll take it a Texas League base hit for Joseph Nystrom. Connor Tisper, first time up, watch this approach. Bang! Split the alley in left center field. Tisper flying on around, came around to score eventually, but it was a double, the designated hitter. It was loud, I mean really, really loud. And this is a fun matchup. Part two uh, over the outside corner. Owen won the count, threw that one straight. Be smart. No balls and two strikes to count. So you know your breaking ball has been a big out pitch for you. He's going to go back outside with the fastball on 0-2. Way outside. This Martens program, as we told you, was born in 2017. Antonio Anderson, perfect game All-American. Red Sox third round pick last year. He's an alum of this program, played in a Martens uniform. Outside corner, strike three. Just enough cut to that one, tilt. That wasn't the curveball. Just a little bit of tilt right there, and a real nice job by Hittleman presenting it. Not dramatically jerking that catcher's net back, but just a little bit of elevation. Sets up a left-on-left -left matchup, ready for a breaking ball. Belted down the right field line. That one heads all the way toward the wall. Neshoff will play it. Hit hard, that will play to run. As the relay skips free, runner moves all the way around. What an explosive swing by Winston Morris, who ends up hands on knees at third base with an RBI. He was ready for that breaking ball. We kept his weight back nicely, hit it hard into right field. Max had to play it all the way up against the wall out there, deep and right. Well, there's a moment. Triple and an RBI for Winston Morris. Cooper Dean. At top of the fourth inning, that's exactly what you want. You're within that three-run gap. You get that runner at third with one out. Let's see what Cooper's focus is, how much he can make sure to plate that run. In on the hands. Stumbling it short, having to recover his Leonard, but he did so nicely. That had to be an empty feeling for the shortstop for just a moment. You see the hat right behind him. Really tied up on the hands, just a lazy pop. Leonard, those wheels started cranking to get there. Stumbled, but then popped back up. We heard about Arvis Kroll earlier from his assistant coach. And we see Arvis go to work now. A two-out chance for Kroll. Get him in. Let's go, baby. Makes his home in McDonough, Georgia. Impact Academy. And he heads to high school, which he has as a freshman. It's Luella High School, so a young freshman. We mentioned some of the mentorship he's gotten, both from his parents and players like Marquise Grissom and Lou Collier as he rolls that one towards short. Bobble. Recovering the throw, not in time, and the run will score. Good job, Winston. Good job, Arvis. So Josh Leonard, for just a moment, lost control of that baseball. And with Kroll running, that's all it takes, right? Get there, get there. Here. Slipped through his glove by the time he recovered. The throw was high as well. 6 4 the score. Kroll reaches. Keep an eye on him on the base pads. Jaden Bibby, the first baseman, struck out looking. On the move, head first slide, stolen base for Kroll. He scores on a base hit. Here we go. That's Kroll's first stolen base. 
Well, these are early games for him. This is just his second PG game this spring. Son of Crystal and Jordan Bibby. He's a massive Braves fan. Acuna, Matt Olson, his favorite. Gets those hands extended. Gives that one a ride toward the alley in left center field. All the way to the wall. It's a couple of bases. It's another run for Smart Tense. A three run inning here in the fourth. 6 5. That's what you do with the pitch up in the zone. You heard it, and that's exactly what Jaden Bibby did. Bibby, who was quiet in 2024 thus far, was just two of 21 in PG games. That's got to feel good. That's big power. That's something you could work with. Mark Hammond. Tony Leonard, the coaching staff for the Hit Dogs squad. Tony, of course, one of the founders and owners of the Hit Dogs in Rochester Hills, Michigan, Greater Detroit. Josiah Davis flied to right field. Yeah! Owen won right. the count on Josiah. Big baseball card collector and a balk is called. Cleveland Reeves, the home plate umpire, calling that one. Let's see if we can see. Yeah, it looked like he had engaged with the rubber and did the full turn of the body to take a look and had not stepped off. Engaged and just turn and look without stepping off. So that's a good call. It's a balk there, the 1-1. One, one. Got him. Got that baseball card collector right in the shoulder. This has turned into an inning. I mean, understand this, too. It was seven in a row sat down by Waters coming into this inning. And a hit dogs team that put up six runs in the first two that kind of were trying to put their foot on the neck of Smart Tents. Now that's, that's in the distant past. Todd Raleigh now, younger brother of Major League catcher Cal Raleigh. In the big leagues with the Mariners, big brother since 2021. Got MVP votes last year, did big bro. Brother's got a couple of home runs this year, and I actually know that because his big brother's on my fantasy baseball team. Quick call of time. They'll discuss things. Of course, nickname for Cal is the big dumper. Todd, the second, the little dumper. They make their home in North Carolina. Fairview Elementary is where he attends school. Dad, Todd, Todd had a long coaching career. His dad. Tennessee head coach, 08 through 2011, Western Carolina head coach. His dad's on the staff as well. Watch this move. Boy, he had him leaning. Throw was a little bit low, and I'm telling you, Reese did a nice job saving that one. Runners on first and third. Bibby's at third. Davis is at first. Todd Raleigh, dad, had a 365 college coaching wins. A lot of baseball in that house. Smart tense dug out, curious if that was a balk. He's trying to steal it out, isn't he? Get back in the dugout, keep it at 6-5. Goes back over to first. 
He looks like he's inside of that 45 degree angle. Quick words of guidance from Joshua Croft, the bases umpire. 1-1 one, one our score, 6-5 our score, 1-1 one, one our count. Is that what is nubbed foul? One and two the count. Three runs in here in the fourth inning. For Smart Tents, all white uniforms, Alpharetta, Georgia based. Two and two. Looking to draw a throw, see if they can get something going. Maybe steal a base coming home and they won't even throw the baseball. So Davis moves to second with the stolen base. Bibby stays at third, no run down that time. Yeah, he can work from the windup if he wants now. Ground ball towards short, a chance to end things. In time for the out, a couple of runners stranded, but not before. Smart Tets makes it very, very interesting. They played three, there was a single, there was a triple, there was a double. Big, big bats this inning. Oh, Jaden Bibby crushed it, 6-5. We set out two and a half years ago to create the best possible BB Corp bat on the market. I set out to create that for my son. He started swinging it and you know, other people up and down the line, they're like, what is that? Can I hit it? Then there were two kids swinging it. Oh, then there was five, then almost everyone was swinging it. The BB Corp is a .50 standard. Our bat actually came back and tested at .499. We're not coming to be a player in this space. We're coming to be number one in this space. 2024 PG Southeast Super Regional NIT. The leader of the program, the Hit Dogs, for this 14U age group is Mark Hammond. He shared his thoughts on what separates his program from others. Well, as a whole, um, and we say it often, is train to develop. Uh, we're big on that. Um, we do, my team in particular, we have players from out of the state of Michigan, uh, players from Illinois, Ohio, um, but the bulk of it is players here in Michigan. Uh, we also have two players from Iowa. Um, but the train to develop, to develop model is something that we stick to. We practice falls, winters, leading up to the spring and summer season. Um, for the most part, our specific team, we've been together probably five years. Uh, most of them have been with us since uh, 10 years. Mark Hammond III, he is north of the Detroit area, north with a nice little commute to allow he and his son to come be a part of that program. Colton okay. Waters goes to work. Harvest sure Kroll moves to right field. And Duke Sanders was the extra hitter, is now in center field. So Sanders in center, Kroll is in right. Good take on a curveball, which was a good looking pitch. Sharp, late 12 to six break on it. Waters a couple of singles, has been good on the mound. Good enough, he has survived this one. Over the outside corner, two and one the count.
19th game as a hitter at PG events this year for Waters as he takes off the plate, but got enough of it to grab that inside corner. Waters with 10 hits, with seven walks, an on base of 373 so far this winter and spring. So compete, one, compete, one. I'll say compete. Great words from the dugout to see how Zadowski has just kept grinding through. Hot shot on a line right to the first baseman, Bibby. Colton Waters hit it hard. The location of this pitch. They wanted it in. Looks like they got it in, at least in her half. There's a lot of arm side movement and life to that pitch, so he knows even if he starts it in, it'll head back toward that plate. Here's Carter again. Little topper, boy, you love that. Back to the mound, two nice steps water. off. The most dangerous hitter in this contest is retired. Owen Hammond. Such a bright future. Such a great athlete at 6'5", a young 6'5". Big swing earlier, played it a pair, and now it's turned out they've really needed those runs. As Hammond takes outside, 1-0 the count. One ball and one strike to Owen. Michigan on his dream team list. Hey, good pitch. So is Vanderbilt, so is Ole Miss and LSU. Is he two? Come on now. Yours. Go. Pretty darn good pitcher when he's called upon as well. 80 to 84. Good. Slider, change up, breaking ball. Nice work. Nice level swing for Hammond. Into the right center field alley. A sliding attempt, unable to make the play out there is Duke Sanders. So a base hit for Hammond. And he's been on all three times today. Last two times with a single. That's just level swing right through the zone. Duke did everything he could, ended up keeping it in front of him, which was the key on turf. You don't want to let that one get by you. Because then Hammond could run for days. Here's Josh Leonard. The hit dog shortstop walked and scored back in the first inning and fly to left field. Good movement on that pitch, splits the plate. Below wise, 74, 75 miles an hour from this right-hander. Breaking ball in the low 60s, change up in the high 60s. One and two, the count. Line drive center field into the glove. It goes of Duke. Sanders makes the play, puts it away. Smart tense with some momentum. Gets back into that dugout. In the fifth inning, they'll swing it down 6-5.
game of the week. It's not disappointed at all. Out of the Motor City, Detroit area, the Motor City Hit Dogs, the Hammond team, the 14U team, they've got six. And they look to Josh We Met, who goes to the work on the mound. Waters, it looks like Colton Waters will just flip-flop with him and play in left field. Waters, a bright future, fun breaking ball. There's a lot to like about Colton Waters. He'll man left now. Dylan Schmidt, the third baseman. And if you're just stopping by, if you found us on Roku, glad to have you spending time with us. Roku channel 237. Go ahead and make that one of your favorites. Schmidt grounded out to short last time up. Just missed the outside corner. That's a little giddy up on that arm. 81, 82 miles an hour just to start things thus far. Right back to the screen, an aggressive hack at that one. Schmidt's really improved his base running he shared. Speed on the base pads, been training hard, trying to get stronger. Legs doing box jumps, vertical jumps. Transferring quickness while throwing, just speeding up his game. As that one is high and away to the third baseman, Dylan Schmidt. He's been an MV pitcher. He's been an MVP at PG events. Had a two homer game as well. Also in the past, track and field, soccer, basketball, football. We met dealing with Schmidt. Schmidt, a spinner off the end of the bat. Henriksen on a 4-3 put away. The end was a little bit early on that one, ended up Hitting a soft, funky spinning roller out to the second baseman. Seabass. Peralta. 0 for 2. Another good curve ball from another left-hander, much like we saw from Waters. One and one the count. Sebastian's had the good opportunity. What a unique one to play in the Dominican Republic. His family ties to the DR. He golfs quite a bit. Doesn't play competitive golf, but loves to golf with dad. His dad, Jose. Three and one, the count. And he's worked his way on. That's the tying run here in the top half of the fifth inning. Conversation with Wee Bent. Let's see if there's a visitor from the dugout as well. He's trying to get out of the gates, hold this score where it is. Runner at first, one away. Motor City hit dogs, 11 players drafted into professional baseball. 
84 tournament wins last year. And a 14U team that won the PGWWBA National Championship here in this gorgeous facility. It was a really good year for the Hit Dogs. Nystrom singled and scored in the fourth inning for Smart Tense. He also grounded back to the mound in the first. Late reaction, 0-2 the count. Joseph at the Santa Middle School, Alpharetta, Georgia. Breaking ball, that's strike three. A lot of depth to this pitch. Hittleman doing a nice job giving him a clear target where he wants it, not really moving around too much, staying quiet behind the plate. Catchers like that are fun to work with. Hunter Tisford doubled and scored in the first inning. And that one fired to the backstop. A runner will move to scoring position. Peralta, who walked, is now at second. Winston Morris waits on deck. 2-0 the count to Connor. He zips a fastball in there. Almost felt like a quick pitch after those breaking balls. Near the pop of the catcher's mitt from Seth Hittleman. 80 miles an hour that last pitch. Two one. It's low. Three and one. The count. I asked Connor when I bump into you at in ten years, where will I find you? And he said, you'll find me as a lawyer or in law school or in the big leagues. Big dreams. Great stuff. Great goals. As that one's high. And the future attorney trots to first base. Winston Morris has had a great day. He singled back in the first inning. He also had three bags last time up. I mean, driving this ball into the corner in right field when the dust had settled. Winston Morris had moved all the way around to third base and played it a run. He's got a pair of RBIs today. And a couple of runners on out there as he holds the bat away from his body. Tried to call time, didn't get it. Pops it to the left side. Yeah, he had held that hand up, hoping to get time, wasn't granted. And then made a quick reaction. When he bends at those knees, it sense there's more growing to go on for this tall, lean athlete as that's played on a backhand. It's like he's stepping into the box with about size 13s. That's all said and done. Morris Winston may be bigger, stronger, and he hopes even faster. Son of Ann and Winston. Abigail, older sis, she's 18. Runners take off. Ball strike, throw down, tag, pop down, in time! Hittleman's putting on a show behind home plate. Zipped it right on down to Owen Hammond. Hammond and he worked very effectively together. Good pitch to throw, ready for it. Beautiful waiting for him. Nice exchange from the catcher to the third baseman, 6-5. Being in the wild is the best when you're with your family. We do all kinds of different things at camp. 
Go fish. Surf. Dive. I think I'll probably be coming out here the rest of my life. I'm Bobby Witt Jr., professional baseball player. I've been with G-Form since the early days with Perfect Game. I've grown and improved a lot, and so have they. From the first time I put it on, it just felt right. To go next level just means to accomplish what your, your goals are, and for me, it was just trying to take everything day by day until I reached that goal to make it to the big leagues, and which was the next level for me. G-Form, go next level. I never let myself believe that I was going to be in the big leagues. I always worked for it until I achieved it. Back in Puerto Rico, I remember my dad hit me ground balls from the top of the hill. That forced me to always move my feet. There were no limits to where I could go, so I played with no limits. Great play at third base made by Owen Hammond, the third baseman for the Hip Dogs. His dad, the member of the coaching staff that leads the charge, Mark, talks about son Owen. Owen, um, yeah, the 6'4 thing. I'm uh, 5'10 on a good day, so that gene definitely skipped me. But um, Owen's a, uh, a super hardworking kid. Uh, actually, as we speak, he's out lifting weights. Um, so... Not just the stuff on the baseball baseball field, but he does the stuff correct um, in the classroom, uh, maintaining all A's, and then the, uh, the stuff that's necessary to get to the next level with the lifting of the weights and mobility and the speed training and all everything like that. Um, super, super proud of, of where he's kind of headed right now, the trajectory he's on, um, like all of our guys. And um, yeah, got a big physical size to him, so that helps, that plays. Um, Throwing it well on the mound right now. Um, good bat in our lineup, batting cleanup, and uh, plays a pretty good defense as well. So pretty happy with, with what he's uh, accomplished so far. And uh, again, what, what what's ahead of him in store for him. Hey, Coach Mark Hammond of the Hit Dogs team talking about son Owen Hammond. Winston Morris, we were speaking of him a moment ago. He gets the call to hop back up on the mound and go to work. Right-hander starting things off with Seth Hittleman, who's had a wonderful day behind the plate. He's also walked and scored, struck out looking. Finished the thought on Owen Hammond. Owen's got a couple of hits today and a walk, so he's been on all three times. It's been a very good day. Number seven on that Hit Dogs jersey. All right, let's go, Winston. Edelman saying his travel ball experience has helped grow his game. Every weekend, you go out expecting to play the best in the United States. It helps your game evolve, especially on the mental side. He goes down and hits a rocket shot. Third baseline, but it's a foul ball. So not only has my mind evolved, but my tool set has evolved, this gifted catcher. 4.1 GPA in the classroom. Straight A student. Late reaction on a breaking ball. That's strike three. They call those backup breaking balls, and they're so dangerous to throw because they look hittable, but at times they can be effective. Hitter keeps waiting for it to break, waiting for it to break, when quite frankly it was a bad one, a bad breaking ball, but it ends up getting a strikeout. Never broke. Josh, we met. Ground ball firmly hit out to the second baseman. We met, who is working on the mound as a 4-3 ground out victim after a couple of walks in the first and the third inning. The credit to Smart Tense. They started chipping away, putting up their runs. Those Three runs in the fourth inning, then since then it's been, let's get back into the dugout quickly. Let's see if we can hit some more. Gage Henriksen singled in a run back in the first inning, also fly to left field. Oh, and won the count on Gage. Makes 
his home in Livonia. Would love to go to Western Michigan University someday. Livonia, by the way, a suburb of Detroit. Son of Nikki and Phil. He's got four brothers. Brock and Trey are older. Kane and Coy are younger. That's one of those hanging breaking balls, and it's fouled back. <laughs> I asked Gage to share some of his athletic accomplishments with me. He said, well, I'm the football captain, and I also beat my dad at miniature golf. Fights that one off. To the right side, in foul territory, Jaden Bibby makes the play for the out. Tied him up nicely, couldn't hit that one through the windmill if he tried. Whether it's mini golf, or baseball. Thanks for hanging with us on a Saturday for the game of the week.
are PGTV, and we are the home to amateur baseball. Time to go to work again with Winston Morris on the mound. Quinn Wheeler gets the call. And we have a, a good another, I don't know, let's say it's 30 minutes. Who knows how much more we have of fun the rest of the way. Tied at six. I've always said as a fan, and if you take a big league game, make it nine innings, this game in this case is seven innings. There's nothing more fun than quote unquote winning a game in the bottom half of, in the big league case, the eighth inning. Get that run, score that run, and then all of a sudden you grip the bat tight if you're the other team. No need for a walk off. Win that game in the bottom half of your second to last shot. And let's see if the Motor City Hit Dogs can do it. Wheeler's 0 for 2. Goes down and gets that one down and in. Big Winston Morris on the mound. 77, 78 miles an hour thus far. 3 and 2 the count. Beautiful swing through the zone. That one down for a base hit. That's your nine hole hitter to lead things off here in the bottom of the sixth. Quinn Wheeler with his first hit of the day. We can see just a little turn of that front foot. Just a weight shift, hip transfer, beautiful approach. Just a nice, simple line drive to right field. Looks like we'll have a runner for the hit dogs. Case and Gilroy will run it first. Willer, Wheeler, I should say, will re-enter, but Case and Gilroy running it first. Very talented athlete in Max Neshoff. They have held him down today. He's 0 for 3. Grounded out, flied out a couple of times. Yeah. Right through the zone, base hit it, hugs that line, heading into the corner. Casing out front, he touches third, hustling on around. And they'll stop him at third base, a double. And they finally cut Nesh off loose. Beautiful approach, a rocket shot, watch this swing, boom. Had that same kind of approach when he lined out in his last time up back in the third. They thought and thought and thought about sending that runner, but they figured, you know what, don't take the chance. Nobody out, runners on second and third. Jason Gilroy out front running. Here's the talented Colton Waters, who started this game on the mound. He's also got a couple of hits. One and oh, the count. Knock it down, infield. Knock it down. Let's go. 14U PG Southeast go. Super Regional NIT. Looking to open 1 0, these hit dogs. For Smart Tents, looking to bounce back and even their mark up at 1 1, losing earlier today. Infield in. 1 and 2. He's thinking strikeout. He's thinking contact. Yeah! He got that contact. It's a base hit into right field. One run is in. And it's seven to six. The hit dogs jump out on top. Colton Waters with a go-ahead RBI. Flip gets it done, top spin line drive to the right side over Bibby's head, the first baseman. 7-6. Runners on first and third, here's Connor Schaus. Singled hard back in the second inning. 
1 and 0 oh, the count to the number 7 player in the land in the 2028 class. Get him. They've got him hung out. He'll run right at him, take a spin, and a look toward the plate. Lip it to the first baseman as the rundown continues. The tag out, run, scores. Head first slide. It looked like, are they saying they missed the tag there? Is he overruling himself, or did he call him out? Yeah, he called him out. Yeah, does he get the run? But a big extra run. That's another run, and it's eight to six. Boy, you think about two on that play. If, if you're Morris and you're Bibby, here's Morris working towards Bibby. There's no way, no how you let that extra run score. You just can't take that chance. Interference, you gotta go back. That extra run was huge. Big, big run. Conversation continues. I'd heard the words interference uttered. Obviously, didn't see anything that stood out with our opportunities, our cameras. But if in fact, there was some sort of interference called, they would put the runner back on third. Joshua Croft, Cleveland Reeves, our umpires. Hey, come on, hey, Cardo, let's go! Hey, Cardo, do your job. Come on. Boom. He's got to go back. Two outs, let's go! So they'll put the runner back on third. Calling the play dead at that moment with interference. So 7 6 is the score. And they get an out. So it turns out in the favor. Take Walters off the base pads. You put Nesh off at third, one away. Still a really dangerous hitter with a chance to get that eighth run. He's ahead in the count, 1 0. Oh. To the backstop. It may be a mood point. Hustling home, head first slide. Zips right on in there. Now it's 8 to 6. Raleigh just had that one get by him. You could hear it hit firm to the backstop. He didn't get the bounce back he wanted. Yeah, he'll tell you, I should have blocked that pitch, especially with the runner on third. Just had that one get right on through the wickets. He's done a nice job all day. Three and oh, the count. Ball four. One away. Shouse has now been on with a single and a walk today. Eight to six to hit dogs lead it. Smart tense with three runs in the fourth and a single run in the sixth inning. Big Owen Hammond. Carter takes off. Draws a bluff there, but that's all it will draw. Sticks it first. Nine hits for the hit dog, seven hits for Smart Tents. One and oh, the count. Two and oh, the count. 
Hammond's been on all three times today. And now he's working on the bump. Walked and scored, singled in a couple of runs, and then had a follow-up single in the fourth inning. Runner moves, shouts, spikes first. Sticks on that bag, holds on with that backhand and a stolen base for Carter. That is 11 stolen bases in the year 2024 at PG events. And he did that now in just 14 games. 11 bags in 14 games. He's on his way toward third, draws to throw. That one's in time. A little bit too aggressive that time. Already was in scoring position at second base and took one more chance and it didn't work out for him. That's a huge second out. They did their best, you could see. Peralta was trying to keep him close to shortstop. That's gotta feel good for Raleigh. Inside, ball four. A perfect day for Owen Hammond. He's reached safely all four times. And Cam West makes a visit to the mound with his team down eight to six. This event was born in 2019. And this 14 U age group has seen so many players grow up since then. Matter of fact, this event alone has produced nearly 2,200 college commits with 17 players drafted. And that one is up and away. We're working against the clock here just a little bit at a Full tournament weekend. We'll keep an eye on that and let you know should the clock expire. Tamar Johnson played in this event. Cam Collier played in this event. This is Josh Leonard hitting. Colt Emerson, Mariners first round pick last year. He played in this event. Such a fun who's who. And for an event born just a couple of years ago, 2019. What a fun spring Tamar Johnson had. 3-0 the count. Look how close he's standing to the plate. It's ball four. So Leonard draws the walk. Couple of runners on. Eight to six to score. Here's Seth Hittleman. What a great job he's done catching today as he takes right down the middle, strike one. He struck out a couple of times, walked and scored. Seth with an equipment change, trots back toward that third base dugout. I want to thank the coaches for both of these programs providing information for us. Cam West, Jarrett Northcutt. I want to thank Mark Hammond of the Hit Dogs for coming on. By the way, listen to our MLB Network radio show after Sunday Night Baseball on Sirius XM tomorrow night. And you'll hear from Mark Hammond. You'll hear from Cam West. And it looks like time has expired on this tournament game. And our game of the week this week did not disappoint. The Hit Dogs are victorious by a score of 8-6. to six. Smart Tents out of Alpharetta, Georgia, really special too. They kept fighting back and fighting back. Big, big moments today, big swings of the bat. We saw Connor Tisper get it done. We saw timely hitting in RBIs. There was a four-run first for the Hit Dogs. A pair of runs in the second inning. They scored a couple of big runs in the six to put it away. On behalf of our production team, leadership certainly on campus at East Cobb and the leaders of both of these programs. 
My name is Darren Sutton. You're watching Perfect Game TV. We'll see you next week for PG's Game of the Week. Otherwise, keep it right here, right on Roku.